Well, howdy folks, it's that time of the year again. I'm gonna take this set up and put it onto my mobile tripod and I'll show you that in a minute. And I made it even simpler this time around. I purchased another power support for the other mount. So I don't no longer have to take this off. I can leave it here. So it's gonna be a lot easier. And I've also ordered, or I've actually purchased, oh, this is the other EQ mod cable. So I don't have to take this one off. And yeah, here's that other power support. And also I got another cord to attach this from here to here to the, on the new mount. So I'm all set. All I gotta do is just to disconnect a couple of these wires and put this uh, scope on the new mount. One other thing, I switched out the flattener. So I, ha I had the Hotec flattener on here and I replaced it with the AstroTech field flattener focal reducer now because I'm going to be shooting nebula now, big nebula. So that's that's what I do in the summertime. So that's another change. So that's about it for now. And I'll show you what this thing looks like when it's done. I'm Kurt Zepatel and you're watching AstroQuest 1. Okay, folks, well, here's this new power supply, and that just connects right into the Pegasus power box. I had to take the Atlas Pro connection, that connects right into the power box, and here's the same old EQ mod cable that I've had on here, and I got the new EQ mod cable that's going to go inside for my inside setup. And that's about it. Hope this helps, and we'll see you later. Thank you. 